Hello and welcome back. Uh, we're going to do a video today in the Wild Edibles series and this is going to be on clover. What you're looking at here is a, a red clover. I'm sure most of you have seen these. It's got this reddish, I don't know, looks pinkish to me type flower and they've got the, the V on the leaves with clover. Um, clover is another real safe plant to eat. There's many varieties. All of them are edible. You get the little short white ones that are in your yard. Uh, we can eat those too every part of this plant is edible so you don't have to worry about can I eat this part or can I eat that part now one thing to remember with these you can use these in, in the leaves and salads and stuff like that throw them into stews and soups etc but if you're going to eat them raw which you can the whole plant is real high in protein which is so important if you're in a situation where you're out in the wild but if you're going to eat them raw a lot of them you want to boil them in salt water for five minutes because they're really hard on the digestive system can kind of cause bloating and stuff like that so uh, you know eat, eat a few of them here to keep yourself going otherwise if you can get them boiled for five minutes you can eat as many of them as you want or like if you're throwing it into a super stew of course you don't have any problem because they're getting boiled so well I think what we're gonna do here is first thing we're gonna do is dig it up you know, and look take a look at the roots Okay, so here we've got that dug up. You can see it's not a real big root, but this is a very big clover plant. So, but it's a decent size. You can eat this raw. You can boil it. Um, if it was me, and I, I might give it a try here, I think I'd cut it up and fry it since I like to try everything that way. But for right now, the main part of this video is I wanted to go through these, these uh, flowers because you can take these, you can eat them raw, they're sweet, you know, don't have anything bitter about them, and they're good for you. And uh, we're going to take some of these and the white uh, clover, and we'll go inside, and then we're going to cook some of them up as a fritter. And some of the other ones, I'm at, what am I going to do here? Now I'm going to pull these off, and we're going to go inside, and, I, and uh, we're also going to dry them. And once they get dried, which will take time, I'll do another video on how to grind these into flour. But you want to let them dry, not in the oven, just in regular room temperature. So... Well, let's get some of these picked and see what we can do with them. All right, here now we're looking at the white clover. I'm not going to dig out the roots on these here. I'm just going to pick some of these out and add to these flowers. Once again, you can eat every part of this, this plant as well as the roots, leaves and everything. But again, if you're going to eat a lot of the leaves, boil them in a little bit of salt water. Okay, so as you can see, we're back inside here. And this is how many I decided to pick. What I'm going to do with most of them is I'm just going to take and throw them on my little homemade tinfoil pad. I'm just going to let these dry out. Now one thing I did do, I went upstairs and I washed these because they are a flower. They're real sweet. So you get a lot of bugs in them. And there's no reason, some of them still have the some leaves and stuff on them. There's no reason to take them off. It's all edible. So I'll just let it all dry out. And what I'm going to do here, they're watching a movie upstairs so I can't use the stove up there. You wouldn't be able to hear me talk. I'm going to set up the Coleman stove here and we're going to cook some of these up and see how they taste. All right, so what I have here, I kind of cheated this time. I went up to get some flour. Normally, I would just flour and water would be my banner, but <clears throat> there was some this quick in the cupboard, so this will give it a little even better taste. And we're just going to mix this up just like a pancake batter. Or if it was flour, you know, just a flour and water mixture, just like this. And that's ready. I'm going to start up the stove now. What we're going to do is we're going to dip these in and we're going to fry them. And I just put a little bit of oil in this pan. You could use butter, whatever you've got. I just grabbed a little bit of oil. So, alright, I'll fire this up and let's see what happens. Oh, 
couple minutes on each side. So this is what we ended up with. They look just like this here. Kind of just look like a dandelion stone or dandelion fritter. These would be called clover fritters. And what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to text Zachary and get him down here to try it with me. Okay, so I got Zach here. Zach, these are clover fritters or just like we do with the dandelions. So <laughs> give me a try, give it a try. Not bad at all, folks. These are really good. I did these in this quick instead of the flower, like we did the dandelions. So uh -huh. I'd give these an A. They're really good. Well, there you have it. Um, I'll be making another video here in a few days about making the flowers into uh, flower, like we talked about. So, thanks for watching the Jones X Survival Channel.